Okay, so I've got my slip knot on my hook. If you'd like to see how I made that slip knot, you can look back at the previous video. And I'm now going to show you how to get into position, ready to make your foundation chain. So when you're crocheting, you'll hold the hook in one hand and the yarn will all be wrapped around the other hand ready to get started. So I'm now going to show you in stages how to get into that position. So hold your hook, if you're right-handed in your right hand, in your left hand, if you're left-handed in your other hand. Hold this tail of yarn up with the hook and that leaves this working yarn here and that's the bit we're going to wrap around the other hand. So bring this working yarn over your little finger, just keeping the hands close together so there's only a small amount of working yarn there all the way under so it's wrapped around and then just drape it over the next finger if you can you can then fold those fingers into the palm of your hand so that they tighten up the arm you're then going to twist from your wrist so your thumb is currently pointing upwards twist so your thumb points down and that really makes this piece of working yarn nice and clear you then push back on that working yarn with either your middle finger or your first finger whichever feels most comfortable for me it's my middle finger drop the yarn tail that you're currently holding in your right hand and hold on to that with your thumb and your other finger my first finger for me hold it as close as you can get to that knot now you're going to grab this yarn with your hook so put your hook underneath your working yarn do a half twist so that the pointy part of your hook is facing downwards and pull that through the loop on your hook just up in the air slightly that's one chain made you're then going to repeat that until you've made a nice row of foundation chains. But this is my foundation chain, which is the starting point for the rest of my crochet.